know what? It's exactly what I'm talking about. It's just not even worth discussing. So, we're good? Oh, you just don't get it. You're like a child, Neil. You need to ground yourself. Where are you going? The moon, Neil. The moon. Forget about me while you're gone. You know, I've been there before. Hey, you know, I've been there before. Wait. Nice hotel. So what was it like? Well, we're in it right now. No, no, no. Space. Oh. Oh, uh, well. Stars looked pretty different that day. I had just come out of fourth grade the previous week. So I knew my basic space survival. Also, it was a little cold. Wow. Well, the reason I wanted to talk to you... You, you stop right there. You, you, you collect space rocks, don't you? I'm really no, sorry. No, I need to get to space. I have a girl there. And I miss her. We're gonna need assistance. Looks good. Man, got it on the first try. Actually, I think that uh, if we... If, if you, Neil, if you put your head west and I put my head east, and you, you sleep perpendicular to us, you'll, you'll be um, facing south, I think this will work. Well... To make it easy on both of us, why don't we just have me sleep parallel to both of you? I mean, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable. Uh, hold, hold that thought. What the fuck, Flynn? What are you trying to pull? That was way out of line. We can't have a healthy team environment with you throwing out hostilities like that. Alan knows what he's talking about. You don't know more than Alan. And don't think for a second that you do. You're just... Ugh. We pulled you off the streets, Glenn. And this is how you were pass? Now, no more of this. So, Glenn, what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying how if I, uh, slept parallel on the bed, then maybe we'd have a lot more space. I mean, I'd be right next to you. A lot more foot space. A lot more comfortable. Hmm? Who the hell do you think you are? How do you expect an efficient team setting without a leader calling the shots? Listen, I've been to space. I've 
been to space. I know what I'm doing. You're just some bum off the street who happens to like lemonade. If you really want to sleep in your oh-so-comfortable parallel, then expect me to be sleeping outside. Wait, oh, that's, that's dangerous. Maybe we can just let him sleep parallel and not give him change for the vending machine as a punishment. No. It has to go this way. It significantly aligns with constellations. It's the only way it'll work. Really? What? Which constellations? All of them. Hey, look. Neil, go check it out. It's probably our funding from the government. Well, I'll need you to check this out tomorrow. As for now, we need our rest. If you need me, I'll be outside. You're still sleeping outside? Yeah, I was gonna do that anyway. Hey, Alan? Do you think we're cut out for this business? <clears throat> yeah. Thanks. <laughs>